Ladies and gentlemen of the internet, we interrupt this soothing music to let you know that we are live here on Myth Brigade for uh, the first session of uh, Vile Dawn in, what, three months or something? Has it been that long? Yeah, about. Yeah. I'm here with my stellar cast, uh, a cohort of RPG geniuses who were just talking about the merits or the downfalls of owning what, Eric? What were we talking about? Do you remember? Um, you guys were talking about yak penises. I was trying to exclude myself from that conversation. But but by excluding yourself from the conversation, you just kind of got wrapped more, deeper. More yak penis. So that's what happens when we have technical issues, weird topics come up, and uh, so we'll curtail that conversation. <laughs> Uh, but we're here to play some Vile Dawn, which is a Savage Worlds Adventure Edition campaign, a homebrew. And it much more exciting than yak penises. To some. I don't know. To, to some. It's, I mean. I don't know. To me. about that. Well, fair. But if you, yeah. let's say you lived in the Himalayas and you didn't have great internet. If I was involved in yak husbandry, then maybe, you know? How on earth are we still talking about yak penis? I I don't know. This is Eric. He's not going to let it go. (laughs) I don't know why you would marry a yak penis. Like, I don't know about the husbandry part. It's an infatuation. It's an infatuation with yak penis. So there's that. Um, I heard it. I heard if you grind it up, it works good for like. It's good. It's good for your joint culture. It's It's good for all agriculture. It's good for. Also, you know that. Heard if you snort it, it's like boost your testosterone. Yeah, and others, and and your friends, and and others. Yeah, I think if you snort yak penis, it boosts all of your testosterone and your whole family line. I think so. I did this. I'm sorry, guys. You did? I, I, I am. I am so sorry. You did? You done did a line it? of yak penis? Yeah. yeah that's Holy right. shit. So, uh, yeah. so okay. <laughs> so we got uh, 2,720 followers on YouTube. I need your help out there. For those of you who see this, subscribe, please, because we're trying to get to 3,000. Because I think, I don't know, you, you get like a coffee cup or a sticker or something at 3,000. Um, but it's a milestone we're shooting for. We're at 215 on Twitch. Um, for those of you who've just subscribed, so we've got a handful of you who have subscribed on Prime. Some dude named Thorg. And uh, some Fort. Yeah, I don't know. Force Inept. Never heard of him. Yeah. Oh, that guy too? Man, uh, I haven't seen him. And it's been a long time since I've seen him. I know, I know, I know. But yeah, no, oh, seriously, God. thanks for following us on Twitch. Uh, this is what we do on uh, every 27th Sunday, apparently. <laughs> But yeah, so we're uh, we're here. We're playing Savage Worlds Adventure Edition. This is a homegrown campaign. Um, this was before the superhero rules were converted over, although there haven't been many changes, to be honest. I don't think. Nicer book. I own it, so I can talk about that. So yeah, um, I want to talk to my players because it's been a minute. I'm going to start because, God damn it, Garrett, you've always got something interesting that you've been up to. What have you been doing? Uh for the last 27 months since we played 27 months well just a twinkle in my dad's eye no uh <laughs> work <laughs> work uh work uh built a road across my property to the horse barn could we define Six- road is this a, a medieval road or is it like a road with like yellow it's, lines it's in the middle no okay. no no it's dirt it's, it's dirt. like hand carved cobblestone so there's yeah. no like rest stops that's, and way stations along the way I, I couldn't do that in two months but maybe three I don't know. I think you taught yourself. I think I think you do. I think you. Uh, I, think, well, I think you could. A nine-hour work day before I start on that, so it's I only have daylight ahead of me. All right. So you work, <laughs> you work, and when you get off work, you're like you go I build work. a road. Yep. Uh, put up a fence. All right. Mm-hmm. Dug, dug some ditches. Well, that makes me feel lazy. Okay, let's. Run, <laughs> we're run, glad. Running, running a Cub Scout troop. Oh, nice, <laughs> so, dude! What 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 better scoutmaster though than like a, a proper RPG nerd? Well, how to, do you think you I know? got the road built? Oh, that's true. Child labor. <laughs> uh, child labor. <laughs> nice. Slave labor. On that I like note, it. We will say we're happy you're here. We will move on to James. You better. I don't know if you can top the road building. What have you been up to? Uh, a serious lack of instruction. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. Yeah. What else? Are you, are you playing, playing Diablo? Games. Are you playing Diablo? No, I I checked. I looked at it. I wasn't too terribly interested in it. The third one launched kind of stupidly, so I was wondering how this would turn out. Uh, it's got the uh, 
butcher. serious transactions and it like twenty dollars or something for a skin a character skin yeah but Seems is that sweet. is that character skin like christopher walken or something sweet or is it just like <laughs> Just I'm, glad you said, I, yeah. I'm glad you said character skin and not like foreskin or something. Oh, well. Okay, let's move We're on to Byron. Away from... <laughs> For the, ne the necromancer class, maybe. Maybe. Speaking of foreskin, let's move on to Byron. What have you been up to, man? You've been doing all kinds of shit. What have you been up to? Shit. Tell it's, me about it's ridiculous. Uh, tell me about um, what, what made you not kill my character the other night on uh, Night's Black Agents. Dude, I could kill you in episode two. It's <laughs> way too early. Way too early. No, uh, no. Uh, after about three years, uh, you know, we're we're done with that game finally. <laughs> you know, it was a, it was an awesome ride. I think it was phenomenal. I was very happy with it, um, with the finale and stuff. I thought it was it was good. Uh, you know, and I don't know. It was it was really cool not to have any character deaths. You were close though. Uh, you were really really close. Okay, so by close, can I just remind you, I was dead. Uh, I just uh, not really. Back. You have till the end of the round. Oh, that, oh no okay. characters ever die till the end of the round. Uh, it's in any game system. Just about. Yeah. That's fair. Technically, well, they're already dead. They're yeah. just a vampire. <laughs> That's right? true. Right? Yeah. It nice. all happened in the same six seconds. But yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, fantastic uh, thing. Uh, join us in like a uh, week and a half ish. Something like that. We're gonna do a little review with everybody and stuff like that. Kind of the with a nail in the coffin per se uh li quite <laughs> literally that. yeah quite, quite literally. literally yeah uh and then we'll be working on some fantastic shit down the road to uh to put on the stream uh you know if you're possibly interested in getting in on that somebody out there send us a uh a, um some kind of resume type it, type or it. whatever type it your uh yeah your all that stuff yeah type something up you send can it to hit us. us up here on roll 20 uh because there's that thing that you can use <laughs> seriously because uh, i get the email yeah. you can also send an email to gm at mythbrigade.com uh if you're into playing and you know you're, you're willing to stream yourself going out there and being a different person then hell yeah, yeah. come do it yeah awesome. working on a vampire the masquerade campaign it's gonna be starting here in about a month probably <clears throat> after oracles yeah, I, I figured I figured done. out my character. I want to talk to you about that, by the way, Byron. All right. He's, have he's, we settled on a game uh, system yet? Uh, uh, Garrett's like, hello. Well, you said have Vampire we... the Masquerade. There's only one game system. I, I, did, but I didn't it. know if we were like, I mentioned it. I don't know if we were like, had that in stone yet. I, but, dude, I would you know. love it if you were like, we're going to play Vampire the Masquerade, but we're going to use like the old school. Uh, what the hell was that? Um, uh, the, we're gonna use the original yeah, DD rules. Yeah, the role master. master rules. Roll. Yeah, yeah old school <laughs> role master rules. I don't have enough paper to print out all those charts. <laughs> Crit charts. All right, damn it. You got I do want to thank you. That one? I might like to get in on that one. I don't know. I don't know. We may have to draw straws and like have fighting and stuff, you know, because I'd like to have a new cast. Well, yeah. Cool. What, or, or what I'd if? Like what if you? What if you ran? Some returning cast. What if you ran multiple and you mixed and matched? We could do that. We could do it pretty easy. Some, some that can well, be rough. you know, I that know. can be rough. Man. You under, <laughs> you, you you do math, find pair, and then uh, Jason's gonna have to put me into a Deadlands game. Yeah, yeah, I can't <laughs> even get in a Deadlands game with Jason, and I'm in it I already. <laughs> I think you could. I'm in the damn thing, and I can't. I'm just get gonna a be. Game with I'm her. just gonna be Murph now. Yeah, but, I mean. <laughs> I think it is limp around, be a problem every time I try to do something. That's just like sick. me in real life. <laughs> All right, Byron. I did want to thank you out loud on the stream. That was a it was a good ride with the, um, Knights Black Agents, and yeah, we'll we'll do this sort of uh, campaign wrap up, and that's awesome. Uh, speaking of Knights Black Agents and people that didn't die, Tyler, thank you for fixing your computer. How are you, man? What's going on? Doing good. Te technically, um, Red Lily did die, and not die. I didn't die because uh, <laughs> yeah, she, she died like I died. <laughs> no, I was more like permanently dead for a minute there, but you guys just couldn't get on a schedule to actually play. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like that Deadlands game. <laughs> That's true. Mo Mondays are tough. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm doing good. Not a whole lot. Sleep, work, relax. Tons of gaming. <laughs> what's going on with um, uh, with your scenarios? What's what's happening there? sinister uh, scenes life got busy again but but so progress down but we made we made progress right on sinister seeds guys is uh it's call of cthulhu uh for the miskatonic repository it's scenarios that these guys write and they are amazing so watch the interwebs for that <clears throat> heard it here first much much later <laughs> okay eric in in, in 10 seconds or less give us please 
a synopsis of why you were slightly late? This is good, guys. Listen to it. There's some uh, shit that happened. Penis. Yeah. <laughs> my my oldest son decided that he uh, was was going to uh, cook dinner in an instapot. Now that he is not afraid of a kitchen bomb, uh, <laughs> and then I had to uh, find the invitation to, to the labor. Zoom. Yes, exactly. Uh, and, and then I had to find the invitation to the Zoom meeting, which was in Discord, but I had to get my password from my password manager and then answer the CAPTCHA questions to prove I was human. Apparently, I'm not because I got the question about which pictures had animals in it wrong twice. We knew this. And then I had to answer questions about toys. <laughs> we knew this. And then I had to go to my... my uh, multi-factor authentication thing to get the code to finally get into discord and grab the meeting invite okay out there on the internet do it with me raise your hand if you feel like that was like an episode of forensic files where the tech guy comes in the room and spouts out a bunch of stuff and it's only <laughs> partially reasonable I, I only say that because of the instapot i feel you though because i i did system updates from like noon until now so yep. but i uh, feel like if you use I, something called an instapot to cook dinner and it doesn't instantly do it it's not really it yeah. does not instantly do it, so you're right. It's it's, it's not it. entirely accurate. Not advertising. Entirely accurate. And uh, yeah, I got to my computer at 7:02. I figured, you know, that's not too late. And then it took me like six or seven minutes to actually get to the meeting and so, fight. So so is there like yeah. a cheaper version of the Instapot called the Reasonably Soon Pot or something like that? That's, <laughs> like, <laughs> that's a crock pot. Yeah. That's no, crock pot. Yeah. No, that's not pot. soon, man. That's or a, a, a yeah. low cooker. To be fair, he cooked a, a turkey meatloaf in in under half an hour. Well, well done. That's a quick pot. That's, that's yeah, it's yeah. a quick pot. That works. Didn't yeah. need a lab grade pressure cooker. <laughs> it certainly was not instant. Like an auto, like quick. an autoclave. Oh yeah, I never cooked in an autoclave. Is that good? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> wow. The only autoclaves hey. I've ever used are the ones that are in labs, and they already smell like dead bugs. So. No, no. I would love. I would. It's love. like cooking in the back of a Dodge Durango. <laughs> Oh, the, the hood of your engine in the yeah. summer in florida <laughs> all right ladies yeah, and gentlemen cool. uh we got that out of the way so i'm glad you're all here I'm, I'm happy to be running this game although i don't even know what the hell i'm doing here so last time uh if you recall your me your... and Korg are in the wrong spots are they are you? yeah oh hey, you James, are how are you what what is that? Nice. <laughs> thanks dude <laughs> doing pretty good and so this thing is gonna move everybody <laughs> around somebody? The red rocket. Yeah, oh, so right if you now. need a wrap up, we had yeah, just defeated back. Dr. Vile when we last left off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now everybody's we, back in this. We, 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 we all became a mega level. Of... <laughs> yeah, we were like veteran status three. We had like three or four new powers, and uh, Dr. Vile had been defeated. Yeah. yeah. All right, yeah, let's. Uh, you guys ready to play That's some uh, Savage Worlds? You guys ready to do this for real? Now mm -hmm. that everybody's in their boxes? Yeah, probably. I need, I need more enthusiasm than that from this place. Come on. <laughs> okay. That's an edit point for me, mainly. Um, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thanks. Uh, so Delete everything before this. Yeah. We, <laughs> yes, please. When last we met, uh, your stronghold was visited, um, as, as they do, uh, by a, a series of, of, or I should say, a, a, an assault team of uh, special agents. Um, who were tipped off as to your presence by a variety of things, right? That through the powers of deduction that, that uh, they have, they figured out, okay, the, the massive power use that Red Rocket has been uh, um, putting into his experiments, and rightfully so, um, uh, plus the fact that there's all this sort of superhero activity, and quite honestly, people see you coming and going because you're not exactly discreet since you hire Ubers back in the day to pick you We're up not here. subtle. And you have a flying... What's that thing, Gundy? What is it? That's uh, what, what's her name? Casey. I mean, I I did send a petition to the the state government to uh, lower the driving age to fifteen so that I could get my license. Yeah. So <laughs> I let her drive when I'm drinking too much. So agents. <laughs> you let me drive when he drinks too much. <laughs> it's why we hit the orange barrels. <laughs> it's armor plated it's fine <laughs> so agents charles grimes and amy dietrich met with you downtown near the city center um at basically the fbi headquarters where you went instead of going up the tall building you went down to a sub basement that you wouldn't have thought existed 
There, you learned a lot more about uh, what they've been observing with uh, Dr. Vile's activities, with the AI that is slowly spread, well, not so much slowly anymore, but that is spreading across technology everywhere. And as well about uh, the um, behemoth uh, that they had downstairs in the cell, who uh, his implants and reminding everyone that it seems Dr. Vile has been implanting these strange nanite crystals into superheroes who he kidnapped or something. No one knows. Watch the first episode if you need the monologue. Uh, and so this particular individual didn't quite have the IQ necessary to make the connection between the crystals and himself. So in mid raid of this research facility, his crystals were like, nah, dude. And he just fell over and has basically uh, suffered a serious stroke. So at the end of the day, this, the, the heroes were given a little bit more information about some research facilities. There's one in Sweden. There's one that was actually torn down and its uh, inventory was sort of sold off, probably to a corporation that was owned by Dr. Vile. And then there was the one that was raided, which is sort of pointless because the raid has come and gone. There is a super villain hero person on the loose who's known as the Crimson Clone, the partner to the behemoth who is known to be able to literally clone himself and uh, cause all sorts of, well, back in the day, he did all sorts of wonderful things. But these days, under the sway of Dr. Vile, maybe not so much. Anyway, that's the general background. Last episode, you'll see it all there. It was a little stammery, if I'm being honest, as I go back and I'm like, where were you, Jason? Um, so we find ourselves back at HQ. You guys have got a day to get ready. I think the camera finds the first scene of... Gundy zipping up his uh, military style duffel bag. Garrett, what gets stuck in the zipper? You're on He's mute. On mute. I'm say, it's not yak penis. Uh, what <laughs> so it gets, got it. Got it the first one. <laughs> <laughs> I say, uh, 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 some kind of memorabilia, like it's a ticket to a 1997 like Black Sabbath concert or something. Yeah. Oh shit. Nice. So, so you you packed all these various things, and why do you why do you carry that around in your bag? I would ask. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it was one of the first concerts that uh, I remember seeing. Nice. Uh, when I when I started like getting some of my memories back or something. Right. Nice. Look at the shirt. <laughs> what is Red Rocket doing? Packing up gear. You know that you're going to go on a trip. You think to some research facility. You're not. You're not entirely sure. You're supposed to report back to uh, to FBI headquarters. Uh, uh, I would be probably preparing uh, like an automatic dog feeder for my body. <laughs> so like I, I have like one of those video camera things so I can watch it when I'm not home. Nice. Let's sidebar on that for a second. So you're there. Okay. You show up at your, uh, tell us about where, where uh, that body is. I think there's an HOA, so we talked about this. So there's, uh, it's a house somewhere. What's it like? Is it a... Uh... Uh, it's kind of in a rougher neighborhood, so everybody kind of minds their own business, typically. Like, probably down downtown area. Like, there's some foot traffic, but not a lot. It's kind of just a plain-looking house. So I think there's, like, an urban restoration thing going on there. So like, uh, you know, you've got your yards that are really nice and there's like some newer kind of fresher minds moving in and restoring the neighborhood. And um, so when you come up to the door and there's obviously like newspapers and stuff, your mailbox is like slammed full of stuff. <laughs> um, and there's a, there's a note on the door uh, from, uh, from the HOA. It's, it's just kind of folded up and taped to the door and it looks like recent rains have caused it to crinkle and the ink's a little runny. It's from Sharon. Tell me about Sharon. Um, Sharon's your typical bitchy HOA. Um, or she's like, oh, you're, she's, she's not, she's kind of a member, but she's not really. She's like, like vying she's for like control the of the HOA. Exactly. Yeah, okay, okay. She's just the neighborhood cunt. <laughs> nice episode title candidate. We'll put that Wow. Out. Yeah. We're going there. So you you open this um, you open this note, and basically it's like uh, it just says, and, and she's got this horribly like 
precise, pretty handwriting with circles above the eyes, like that, that kind of thing, circles for periods. And she's just like, we need to talk about your restroom habits. And that's all it says. And it just says, Sharon. Anyway, you open the door. You're looking in the house. Your entire fucking living room is just shredded. The couch is decimated, chewed to pieces when you walk in. And you find your, your former self uh, in the, restrain, the, the restraining room, which tell me about that. What's, uh, how's that built? Because I don't think we ever uh, established So that. it's, I, I imagine it's some sort of like laser light system. So like when it, like when he goes beyond a certain point, it kind of just juts up these like bars. Okay. So you're, you, we'll, we'll talk about in, in your special edition, if you will how this looks but uh so he's there and he's waiting and you you have, have built over the last week or so this automated feeder system update for longer term feeding and um i'm thinking you've probably hired like uh the neighbor kid to like dump some some dog food in like a weird shoot like okay. some shit to, like feed it from the outside <laughs> house anyway so you do that you get yourself set up you're a uh, how does your human body respond to you when you when you uh, when you show up? Uh, up? Like every every excited dog ever. Does he pee? Like he jumps up, he pees, he runs over to me, or at least he tries to. <laughs> like he jumps, he's very jumpy and excited. And how tall is your former self in just general? Um, I would imagine slightly above average, like six foot. Six, six foot tall, probably naked, because definitely you, right at this point, a man running around the house, excitedly gnawing wagging. on the couch. Yeah, gnawing on the couch. Okay, so that's what you're up to. I love it, Mordred. Just uh, kick back, watching TV, watching the world go to hell from whatever the vile virus is doing the networks and stuff. Yeah. So, so watching TV these days. Um, so I, I think Gundy and Rocket have sort of wired this old school, like dime store television together with like rabbit ears and stuff. You're watching a, uh, a super edited version of, uh, of pen, uh, of, uh, Excalibur, I think <laughs> the irony, right? As you're there. I brought my VHS. Oh, not no, even better. So it's like got those weird squiggles. <laughs> mid, yes. yes. And I had them down in the basement. <laughs> You're like, I That's look Patrick way better Stewart. than that guy. <laughs> <laughs> but his armor is cool. Blocks girl. <laughs> What's she up to? So, uh, <laughs> all right. So this is basically as the camera pans. It kind of pans back from like the main garage door looking into like our, our facility. And uh, so at one point when Gundy's truck was here, she removed a winch from the front of it. Yeah. And uh, she had used it to like put it up over one of the beams and she has like a harness that she's wearing. Okay. And uh, it, she's wearing this harness. She's suspended from the roof beam over this thing she's got the remote for like the the thing to like move her up and down and uh she's uh she's listening to uh Michael generation on uh fried by the who on her beats headphones uh and she has like a little tool belt that has like snap peas and a juice smoothie and shit like that in it so she doesn't have to come down to get a snack and she's she's using multicolored spray cans to tag it on the entire wall of her thing like artwork of like Bundy with like bugs crawling out of his eyes and stuff <laughs> like that. Oh and hell like, yeah! Mildred, like Mildred's got like a sword stick through like the top of like a car hood, and it's like some serious like New York style tagging artwork. And uh, despite the fact that like people are like yelling at her, try to getting her attention, she's just like jumping out and just like spraying and doing shit, and just being an unruly teenager. So Byron, there's a place in uh, sidebar. There's a place in London, uh, right around Waterloo station where uh they allow that and so people will show up like late evening uh late afternoon early evening with scaffolds and and by the morning the entire tunnel has changed 
and the art is phenomenal. I've got I've got pictures from over the years of visiting there. I've um, actually seen it at one point in the past. Amazing. You when you were in London, you sent us some pictures. Yeah, of it. it is. So she's doing yeah. that, and that that's yeah. awesome. So Spectral Avenger. So you're there, and there's the witch, and she's in the containment unit that you've created. Uh, who created that? Was that uh, Byron? Was that you? Okay, that was you. Uh, it was me and uh, and Rocket together. Is it liquid? What's in there? Just a cylinder. Formaldehyde. Nice. Oh. That's that's amazing. So fine. Yeah, let's go with formaldehyde. <laughs> so you've put her in there, and she uh, vinegar. <laughs> yeah, vinegar. Juice? That's nice. Yeah, pickle vinegar. juice. Pickle juice. Pickle so, witch. So you're there. Uh, just kind of watching her, and she's at one point just her eyes snap open, and she's moving around in this this liquid, and she sees you. The, the what? Tell me about the connection you have with her, for good or ill. What do you feel when this this other dead thing? Because as far as you knew, she was pretty close to dead anyway. Opens her eyes, and she's decaying. Parts of her flesh are coming off in this this tube. You're on mute. Well, the hide should keep that from doing. <laughs> You're no still audio. on mute. <clears throat> oh, didn't know I turned that on. I would be happier if parts of her flesh came off faster. So you're watching just the little kind of rivulets. But it's um, there's this sense that it's it's not decay that you would expect. Not that you're an expert in this, but it's not like normal sort of post mortem decay. Something's happening to her. She's transforming in some way. Um, that's also irrelevant. So we'll get back to that. That could be good or bad. So in the center of the of the room near the TV, uh, sitting still on its small table is this analog phone, which you guys will remember you have there to protect your ability to communicate with the outside world whilst all of your smartphones are becoming infected or subject to surveillance. Uh, you hear the ring, and it's this grandma sound, right? The, the grandma's <laughs> phone ring. It's that, that rotary phone, right? So it's like... Krrr, krrr. Who answers the phone, and how many rings does it do you get in before it, the answer? I'll pick it up. Three rings. Okay, three rings. You pick it up mid ring. You're just like, ring, and it's still kind of it's kind of ringing out. Uh, Excalibur playing in the background. There's a battle scene. So there's like swords ching, 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 clashing. What? Turn on channel. Oops. Turn on channel five. It says a very familiar voice. This would it's be on channel five. This would be. You have to physically get up, walk over. Charles, to it. yeah. <laughs> tunk, 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 tunk. Yeah, and then. That's... That's because I never, put the, I never put the remote back where it goes. There's no remote for that TV. Not the, one I brought, not, not the one I brought from the basement. Yeah. So you, you go over, and, and of the of the 12 channels that it has, you, you uh, clap, clap, which you have to be on channel three to use the VCR that Gundy brought from home. So it's only a couple clicks. You three. see through this kind of scrambly and, and kind of generally broken TV. I mean, it's like this, you know, like this big. A plume of smoke rising from what would seem to be a gas fire, spewing from a large hole punched in the asphalt in front of the FBI headquarters in downtown Freedom City. Large chunks of the street and sidewalk uh, and a lamppost are strewn about as if blown outward from said hole. And an assortment of emergency vehicles occasionally block your view as uh, first responders scramble to contain, this, to contain the situation. Oh, shit. Howard's recovered. Overnight, overnight scan showed no sign of improvement. But about half past eight, he rallied. This kind of physical recovery defies all clinical precedents, even for one as unique as Howard. As you see, his exit was a little dramatic, but no one was seriously injured. His parting words were captured on our security systems. So moments later, the vid screen, which you've turned off because of the security concerns, much like Eric had when he was signing in the game, crackles to <laughs> life. 
The behemoth leans into the camera, which flickers from an unknown glitch. Uh, he's got the camera in his hand, like he's pulled it off the wall. He's standing tall, and remember, tall is tall for this guy. He's a good eight and a half feet tall. Uh, so you're getting an, a view here. You're getting a view like this. <laughs> As he check uh, test one. Uh, hi, everybody. Send this to the dog and the ghost. Uh, I don't know, but some of the stuff you said really shook something loose in my head. Like it all started to make sense. If you were here, I'd pet you again. And I don't mean that in a weird way. I'd just be doing it to say thanks. That's, that's, not, that's, that's not the point anyway. Hey, listen, I'm starting to piece it all together. Clone's in trouble. I can't stay here. He needs me. So, I'm heading out. After I find something to eat. But, if this adds up to what I'm thinking, I'm gonna need your help. So I'll be in touch, little buddy. Tell your ghost friend I'm still sorry he's dead. The behemoth drops the camera, leaving it to capture the destruction of his escape as he launches himself <laughs> through the layers of this building. It's in a dizzying sway, not, not unlike a found footage film or something like that. In the haze, you think you can make out a familiar female form, as if maybe she was near, near enough by to witness. What do you do? <laughs> What? You're still there with the phone. Yeah. Did uh, did everyone cover when the view screen came up and see this too? I'm assuming, yeah. Anyone that was, well, it's okay. So Gundy was off in his room. Uh, Ghost Box was painting. Yeah, no, so yeah. you're the only one. I made a notice check. I'm like hovering above you. I'm like hanging, just like spraying and whistling that like my music. I think, I think I'm underneath Stacy on one of those crawlers. Yeah, there you go. I don't Take. actually have to change the oil, but I just like pretend it. <laughs> hey assholes, we got a call. <laughs> oh dude, that's not it. <laughs> While you were packing your jammies or whatever you're doing, there's been a development in the missing research equipment. It looks like the center's authorization servers received a ping from one or more of the missing devices. I guess they're set up to check in when they start up or something, to verify some kind of license or whatever. The signals were interrupted but not before the machines sent along their encrypted location and configuration files. They're here in Freedom City. It's an office building, just off State Road 4 in the waterfront. I need that equipment back. Today. There's a click. I uh, note all that stuff down. <laughs> You're, you're there with a the phone because this isn't a technology. Yeah, I mean, you vaguely remember the bit. It's suddenly it's like d d d d d d d d d d beeping in your ear as he's hung up on you. And the but of course, it's all it sounds weirder than that because it's all got to go from digital back to analog. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> it's going through some weird converters. Yeah, nice. What do you do? I, I send some butterflies up to uh, get. Uh, Blocks girl's attention. Just have go around her head a few times until she sees him. So blocks, you're there, and one of the reasons you love this this art is it makes you a little high, and and maybe you're kind of not. not the, it's not the paint fumes then, at all. <laughs> no, right. And suddenly you look and you're like, oh, there's butterflies flying around your head. I kind of look down and I'm like, yeah, what's up? We got a call. Got a call. Oh, okay. Somebody at the FBI wants to see it. I, I like push a button. It's like, <laughs> but it's not fast. It's like, yeah, yeah it's, it's really it's, slow. It's made for lifting engine blocks. <laughs> yeah. so it's, it's, it's not super fast super at all. <laughs> you said it was made for lifting blocks. I thought you meant me. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, so you, you gather in the break room. <laughs> And by this time, Rocket has received an encrypted email communication to uh, red at rocket.com. <laughs> dot co. Super conspicuous. Yeah, dot co. Yeah, it's fine. What, you know, so some, some sort of secure channel. You, you receive um, some information. 
The first is the obvious address, the building, which uh, points to, based on your, your search on the, uh, on the Freedom Network, um, just an average multi-business office building. Seems a little odd. You could go with it. And then there's a configuration file, or you, you would know it to be such. It's config.yml, which stands for YAML, or it was called YAML. Um, why is that still showing? That's weird. Okay. Okay. Anyway, there is a file there. I would uh, open a little file, I guess. And so, do you see that? <laughs> wait, wait James is <laughs> James is like okay, this is dumb. Cause... Wait to infect your entire computer now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can I zoom in? Yeah, I can zoom in. Okay, cool. So um, you have there what appears to be. Uh, give me a science check, please. I'm gonna say any any, any silly You're person. Spend a Benny, Jesus Christ! Did you fail your science <laughs> check? What happened? Yeah, I have a D10 and I rolled a three and a one. How do you even do that? You're like I haven't read Yaml in a long time. <laughs> All right, there, there you, you go. go. So this is in fact a, a type of configuration file. Um, you're, you're kind of looking this over. Uh, couple that with a common knowledge roll, please. Because you're a scientist. I'm going to say common knowledge would be science stuff. Wild Dice saves you there with a five. Okay. So Synapse AD3000 jumps out at you. So there was a, a device that was apparently meant to inject um, these uh, sort of augmentations to the human brain, like an implant to uh, recover uh, paralyzed victim, their par victims of paralysis or other serious physical issues, um, usually resulting from some kind of neurological injury. And uh, this implant actually could help override some of those issues. Um, interesting that you see it here. You read the article mm, a couple years ago as it was in kind of this early stage development. Interestingly, around the, just after the time that uh, Vile did his thing. The other things that you notice here are, um, well, there's a place where you could find the error logs if you want to see that. Um, version 3.621 jumps out to you as well. Also, the automated implant delivery system. No one please be mean to me about that. I just thought that was kind of funny. Dad joke. The assets that you're trying to show us are not showing up on our screens. They're yeah. only showing up in the, in the Twitch channel. Oh, is that what that is? Why aren't yep. they showing up in Roll20? I thought it was just like some kind of no idea thing on. Like, are Twitch you in roll twenty? They should be on roll twenty. I'm no, I'm reading not. I'm reading it. No, off they're the not in here. our roll twenty. Nope. I thought it was just jacked up on a screen. That's uh, why I was wait a minute, a message. Wait a All right, let me. I sent you a message here. Yeah. Here, let me give you this. All players, I'll put it in your journals. It should show now. Let me. There it is. There it is. Okay. Yeah. Hey, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, is. if you're trying to show players something on Roll20, you have to have it in their <laughs> journals. I didn't put it there because I was afraid it would show up before the game, and people like Garrett and Byron and Tyler would read it before we started. Anyway. I mean, I noticed it was on Twitch, but I thought it was a computer glitch. Yeah, it is. It's a, it's, yes, sorry. <laughs> anyway, so apparently, uh, <laughs> it eats. It's <laughs> yeah, it eats. Sorry. So, so this, uh, <laughs> so this you get for opening it up without protection. Yeah. This yeah, configuration man. file came across essentially, uh, letting the server know here, here's what's kind of going on. Uh, the one thing I, I cut off in the image is this really big, long license number, which is at the bottom. It's a machine ID. And, uh, there's an encrypted string, which you don't know what it says, but the, the configuration value is geolocation. So you can infer from that that it's probably the encrypted location uh, of the machine based on the internet. Yeah. Uh, so I guess I would um, probably meet them at the uh, warehouse and then we will go to. Nice. So, so you zip back. Uh, with uh, what, uh, what, uh, Tyler, tell me two things that happen as a result of your hurrying back. Uh, 
two things. Uh, I set off, uh, what was her name? Sharon? Sherry? <laughs> I set off her, like, Sharon. car alarm. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I, like, knock over a trash can and set and off I, and car I think, alarm and, and shit. I think, uh, not to invade your second thing, so give me the second thing, but as a result of hauling ass, you also let go of the letter. And so the, the camera sees you go boom, when the car alarm's going off and the letter falls like a feather onto her hood. What else? Um, uh, Beer cans go scattering everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> When I, when I blow in, Gundy's still on his, like, little scooter, so he kind of just slides all the way across the warehouse. <laughs> there you go. And you come in, right, you come in, and you, you hit the brakes, which you've got these sort of, like, uh, almost like brake pads, and I think Gundy's upgraded your shoes. Brake so you pads. kind of slide in, you're like, <laughs> with, yeah, so that I like that a lot. Okay, so you're all together here in the warehouse. Um. Rocket has he looks like he has news that you haven't heard before because remember he wasn't here to get the memo um, You don't have like, you know, uh, you know Any sort of I would just start delivering the information that I got from the little encryption to yeah. them Not knowing that they know. Yeah. Yeah. So you're just like kind of <laughs> scampering around like hey guys like <laughs> That's awesome. So like I got emailed this code and like in the code I found this thing and so it goes to this location and <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna go there and ruin their day. <laughs> Mordred says, All right. as Mordred will. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you're gonna go there and ruin their day? Is that the general thought that's prevailing here? It seems seems like the general idea. That, that sounds yes. like what we normally do. There's yeah, some stuff there the FBI wants back. So true. All right. Tell me about how you get there. So uh, <laughs> the, the water fronts down here to the south of city center. Um, I'm assuming you can see that on your map. And uh, the office building is pretty well right on the water. Although there's a street and then some minor sort of buildings on the opposite side of that street right on the water, like uh, service buildings and little types of things for vessels that might park there. But this is like right on the water. Um, fairly it's, prime real estate. It's not pinging on roll 20. It's not? Oh, because I... No, oh, sorry. I saw something. Yeah, I see it down hey, by the riverside. It's over here. Yeah. That's yeah, me. Yeah. It's down here. It's like over here. There. You see the blue one now? Yeah. yeah. Waterfront. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell me about how you get there. You fly in in, uh, in uh, Stacy? No, no. Take the regular ground. These guys Order are... Motorcycle on the ground. They, they've been They've been to... Uh, too too uh, visual. It needs to be more incognito. Yeah, I, right. I, I keep trying to give him like gray man training. But I get I get in the front seat, but as I'm getting in the car, I accidentally spill what's left of my slushy on the carpet <laughs> on the on on the seat, and like it flips over like on the speedometer and all that stuff, and it's like. And and like, it's, you like, know, it's like that icy it's like, red. Uh, it's like red smoothie all on the like. The little visor, like cream colored seats. <laughs> how does that work out? Uh, how does that work out for you there, Gundy? <laughs> like I gotta Is know. It, the horns just going nonstop with his forehead. So yeah. Like... <laughs> <laughs> what uh, what what cassette are you playing? Because I know you've installed a cassette player here. Let's let's oh, yeah, be no, honest. A track. Yeah. A, she... a track cassette combo. <laughs> She grabs she grabs a dirty wife beater that's laying on the seat and like fucking starts wiping it off. That's his clean one. It's clean shirt. Shirt. <laughs> it's just smearing it on the on the window. That's his clean shirt. She completely bypasses the uh, the uh, the container of like those uh, armor all wipes. <laughs> <laughs> what is a uh, spectral avenger? So I get that uh, Mordred's riding on his own. Uh, these the, the the three of them are riding in Stacy. That sounds. Perverse, but fine. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> are you are you Getting in my red rocket instinct? Got, well, got a lot of room in that trunk. <laughs> Will you say something, Eric? Because I was as, as I recall, Stacy was a personnel carrier. Yes. Yeah. Are, are you riding in the personnel carrier? I'll ride in there. So I, I picture the the cinematics like from behind your head, which we can see through because you're a ghost watching all this 
calamitous stuff happen with icy flying everywhere and they're probably having some kind of weird argument like he's lecturing his child or whatever i know you did that on purpose it was it, to be fair it was a beet juice smoothie it's, oh I my would god never drink an icy <laughs> that's so good i would never drink an icy when the horn on the vehicle doesn't stop i just ride up next to it to look inside to see what's going on and if something's gone wrong and just see that unfold yeah you see the shapes of like uh, you've all seen it on the highway right when you know that the people in Doc. front of you are fighting Doc. <laughs> you're like Doc. Yep. Doc. <laughs> nice so you make your way to the neighborhood of waterfront uh, through city center, right? You kind of come in and it's these obviously huge buildings and there's like some, you know, hover delivery stuff. Remember, we're in the future a little bit here. Um, so down around waterfront is this kind of revitalized uh, professional strip. Um, one real estate developer, those of you who read the paper would know this, who has created these pretty glass front buildings where they shouldn't be. So the rest of the neighborhood, like you pass a, <laughs> You pass this weird noodle joint and a massage place, like some kind of stuff like that. And then there's these pretty nice buildings with uh, with campuses that, you know, call it a, a city block or so in size. So you arrive in front of the one that was listed in Rocket's secure message. There's parking down the way or, or across town where whatever you, you choose to do. So how do, how do you go about uh, that whole thing? Somebody tell me. I feel like there's like that that where we all get out of the truck and everything and we're like walking kind of like in a pyramid kind of like like it's the like right reservoir where they're dogs. walking out yeah. of the, like, like the reservoir of dogs you know what I mean <laughs> but let's let's and, be and honest just about what the... like side to side in the front like <laughs> yeah so you're in the front of the pyramid what does that really look like though because you got like spectral avenger who's kind of hover walking and <laughs> I think I'll be invisible for this since we're going yeah. through, like, even better to be populated seen area <laughs> there's yeah. a uh, blocks girls wearing like pink fishnets and a burgundy leather jacket yes so there's a missing there's the uh it'd be a shame of some spray paint got on that leather jacket wouldn't it <laughs> you got rocket in the there's front already spray paint on it that's true you got rocket in the front uh you've got uh, i'm gonna say blocks girl to his right uh you've got gundy with his mullet like waving in the wind and like his, his like, you know, uh, his aviators on. And then there's a net on the other side of rocket. There's a blank space where the ghost would be walking <laughs> <laughs> and there's Mordred. But you see in the footfalls of like splish, splash, splish, splash. That's we cool. look like we're not in any order, but we really are. Yeah. <laughs> so you, uh, you, you park, I'm going to say where it's tell me real quick. Where do you park, uh, uh, uh Stacy in, in a parking garage right across the street from the building? It's somewhat important to what may happen later. Um, Discrete location? Yes, kind of like an alleyway. Yeah, yeah, good. Like a loading hoping, dock alleyway. I was hoping you'd say. Yeah. I, have a, I have a map of an I alleyway, I guess. Okay, fine. <laughs> so you guys come, which is great. And in your head, at some level, it's like those of us who play in bands that no one cares about, but we think they do. Man, you get a long walk in this pyramid. <laughs> past the noodle joint past this like electronics repair place which is closed um, past a, an ATM that is like glitching and freaking out anyway so you come to this uh, the, the, these concrete stairs and on the corners think of this as like just a big square building glass front five stories the front of it is is uh, you know very pretty for lack of a better term you've got on the corners these big planters with some concrete benches there's not like any fancy fountains or any whatever, but there is a weird sculpture that looks kind of like someone bent tin foil in an awkward way and put it there. And there's a revolving door, which you could go in if you so chose. They got the huge, so there are logos, by the way, uh, I should mention, uh, of the companies that occupy this, some of the primary ones. Um, Starlight Social Influence is one. Uh, there's Peak Equity. Beacon response solutions. So Ooh. on. Yeah. So there's there's that going on. These big pretty logos on the side of this kind of building. What do you do? You just roll up in the front door? Yeah. Well, Garrett's shaking his head no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, that's, oh, how, that's how I do it. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds good. I take a long draw on my uh my vape, which has like caramel frappuccino in it. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. That's delicious. Is it uh is it just uh nicotine vape? Is that all? Oh it's no nicotine, it's just flavoring. Oh that it's smells flavoring. incredible. Can you give me a pop yeah. cup next That's time? So weird. <laughs> it barely goes over the smell of my skull. Yeah, I, I, as, he, as, as Gundy's talking, I kind of blow like this big like cloud of like caramel frappuccino into his mouth. Yeah, I'm gonna say poor, poor, poor Rocket, because overwhelmed by smells much, right? Like, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. The beet juice dirt smell. Caramel <laughs> <laughs> frappuccino is grizzly and wintergreen. <laughs> okay, <laughs> uh, episode title: uh, Beet juice dirt smell. So far, we're. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're winning. <laughs> Dirty okay. beats. So, so you I walk never up. wish more than to be nose blind. You're, you're taking your your big draw off of your vape and shooting this obnoxious like teenager cloud out into the into the air. Although vapes these days are almost invisible, says my daughter. Um, Not this one. Yeah, no, you're just like. <laughs> no, they are. Oh, what? Puff the magic. Custom tuning on your vape. <laughs> so, yeah, so you. <laughs> So you walk up to the front door. Gundy, you said no, so you were an outlier. What are you doing? You said no, so what, what are you uh, doing instead? After, after I parked the, uh, the truck, I'd say, like, by a set of dumpsters or something, I'll check the, for a uh, service entrance, like where shipping and receiving might drop stuff off. Oh, nice. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, the alleyway that you parked well, that in trashes is... trashes the whole pyramid long walk thing. Well, it evens it out, really. No, it's a missing man formation. Yeah, <laughs> we'll go with that. That's it's a fine. double missing, double um, missing man formation. There's two empty gaps now. <laughs> so you kind of, I'm, I'm assuming you let them know, like, hey guys, I'm gonna hang back and check this out. I'll be right with you. Yeah. So you, you kind of do things. Give me some notice checks, please. Get, or just everybody. One, one will. No, 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 just Gundy. We said checks. You said checks. Yeah. And then I corrected myself. Sorry. Oh, okay. We're already on. Why is that not happening? Where's Gundy? This. Did it come through? Nope. Okay, good. I was like, I, I'm looking at it. It's not coming through for me. Nope. Survival still shooting your parent pilot of persuasion. Notice. And he yeah, he's, he's like, oh, there it is. It's down. Okay. Woo! All right. Well, you you wander around a little bit, right? Uh, you get to the to the back. Uh, shipping and receiving so you find it um interestingly this is a very sort of office building so there's a, a good sized dumpster with uh lots of cardboard flattened out in it um and then some general office waste but you don't notice anything interesting you do see the service entrance um it is is a proper big ass metal door with uh, a, a prox card or some kind of rfid reader um what are you looking for here? There's dumpsters. Um, is it pretty? It's pretty tight, sealed. I'm guessing because it's got the card reader. You st you start uh, you kind of prying at it. I just I'll just try the door. Okay, so you try the. I doors. mean, I, I I look if there's a camera, I look homeless. Yeah, so there's the there's a <laughs> there's just a, a pull bar there. Yeah. Uh, and because you know if you scan it, it just you pull it open. Um, as you're pulling on it, you hear, Hey, you don't need to bother. You're not getting in there. <laughs> Says this woman walking out from behind the dumpster. D largely toothless, shrunken, just form. Just kind of leans in. What you need? She smiles. Handsome. Hey, aren't you just a drink of water? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she, what do you mean you ain't getting in there? It's locked all the time. <laughs> well, how often they go in? Who? Who goes in? You can't go in. I'm not on birth control. Whoa. Oh, shit. I don't even this know you. I don't even know you, she says. <laughs> Are you my Doing like this weird chicken head thing. Yeah, people come and go, people cousin. come and go, people come and go. You're not my boyfriend, she says. And she struts around you. The building. Doors. <laughs> Doors. Give me a persuasion roll. Do I hear anything? You hear her. Uh, 
a note what'd you say a persuasion persuasion it's in the peas not gonna be great oh well Hi. whoa look at that okay so a d4 with okay so you kill it how do you persuade her to, to give you more information <laughs> If, uh, if, it's, smooch. if it's graphic, <laughs> I'll just timestamp this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm working on my tongue. Uh, uh, no, I, I hand her uh, my uh, unopened 40 that I had sitting in the front seat. <laughs> <gasps> Are you Jesus? You Jesus. <laughs> you ever oh, spit watermelon you, seeds Jesus, in your you, cousin's Jesus. mouth? Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. And she smiles. A tooth or two is in there somewhere. How can I help you, Jesus? <laughs> and she takes like not, half of it not, down. It's not quite wine. <laughs> I don't know, when, when do they go into the building? I don't know. Uh, yeah, someone come out for smoke break once in a while. Once in a while, I hide from them because they, they call the law. They call the law and tell them to come get me. I'm so what? The, the trucks came the other night. Trucks came be big boxes, big boxes, she says. Woo! Pretty man, big muscles. Big muscles, she says. She steps right up to you to the point where you can smell the rot in her teeth. And oh, she yeah. goes, Oh, yummy. Like these muscles. She's... <laughs> Do the hair flip in the mullet. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> How often is this? Like, when was the last smoke break? That smoke breaks. The smoke breaks all the time. People come out the back. It's getting in trouble if they smoke out front, don't they? Don't they? All you corporate types. All you corporate types. Bobby. <laughs> Bobby. And she's swipping her head around. When they come, they bring the trucks. The big trucks. Big computer. Big, big, big boxes. Big boxes. She, she said they came yesterday. A couple days ago. Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday? No, not Tuesday. Tuesday, a couple Has, days ago. Did he pick up the truck, the, dump, the dumpster since then? No, no, dumpster. What? Oh, no, no, not, no, no, it's empty. Look, look. We said there was big boxes in it. It's okay. full of stuff. Okay. Look, <laughs> do you see it? Yeah, I'm going to go climb in the dumpster. She's like, <laughs> now you can't just go in there. I, I don't even know you. Oh. And she's she, she client so she has it's she a has, house party she's hollowed out in the in the uh sort of uh the, the cardboard one she's hollowed out a little area for herself to sleep in and you I'm go just looking at the yeah i'm just looking at the boxes like barcodes yeah um, labels i'll let you make another notice check and remember if you fail and you care you can uh spend a benny you get three to start with every Ooh, Oof. okay That's three nice. to start you said yeah, get three to start. So I get four. Okay. Yeah, I'll spend one. You just drew a whole bunch of initiative cards, Eric. Oh. Yeah, I did the wrong thing. I'm taking... Oh, okay. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, it's fine. It's not like we play this ever. I'm recalling mm -hmm. those cards from you. You can't. Jack, go ahead. Take your bennies. Okay. Ah, Why do you only have one, Eric? Because I put the wrong thing in. <laughs> there we go. This is how this works on roll 20. Thorg, okay. Uh, second notice, check. Uh, no, still okay. Fine. So you're you're looking at boxes. And, uh, yeah, you notice um, there's some probably at this point Toshiba stuff. Um, there's uh, th like a – looks like some drug paraphernalia. Um, some pretty <laughs> heavy stuff. Gee, I wonder where that came from. But you don't you don't notice anything super interesting beyond that. Now remember there was also the office waste dumpster. This is more the great big cardboard and or recycling dumpster, and then there's the Well, I'll switch over to the other one then. Okay. I'll give you a notice check on that one, then we're gonna come back to the group. Yep. Why did I close that? I don't even know. It's like I've never played this game before. <laughs> Oh, okay. Wild Eye, not so kind, but you got a six, which is uh, is a success. Um, I'm going to let you ask me one question. I don't have anything specific to tell you, but uh, I'm going to give you an honest answer to one question, even if it's broad. Mm. 
Not like what's well, the meaning of life or anything like that. I right. Don't <laughs> I don't have that. Let's see. These are all like uh, I'm like I'm I'm like uh, let's see. You you just realized that you almost asked a question and I would have answered it. And you've been like shit. I was I had more coming. Yeah, this is like the genie questions and it's uh, the ring of three wishes, <laughs> right? It's yeah, yeah, it's that. Yeah, go ahead. Um, based on the boxes, can I piece together what they were going, what, what they're all kind of combined to? Okay, so I'll give you that. However irrelevant it may be. So you look in the general waste, and um, there's like these big sort of office cheap trash bags. They're really big, thin, shitty, just to get people's, you know, various trash out. Uh, and you're kind of looking around, peeking to see what's going on. You smell something kind of foul in there, maybe some food, that kind of stuff. So you're like, yeah, this is totally that. You take a second look with that success at the, uh, at the other dumpster. And uh, the, the, the one thing that jumps out at you is in, in very smallish letters, sort of at the edge of A, I, maybe a D or maybe a B, you're not sure. Because it's obstructed by other, you know, stuff in there. But you're like, oh, that's what Rocket was talking about. Okay. I'll just start. Yeah, I'll start heading back towards them. All right, camera pants. So, a uh, bit of time has passed. Um, I'm going to tell a mouse to go into the building if they open it for a smoke break. You uh, Come again? I'm going to tell a mouse to get into the building through the back door if they come out for a smoke break. Okay. So, you, I, I think there's this moment where you lean down and you're talking to this mouse. And uh, your friend is there and she's freaking the fuck out watching you talk to this mouse i knew it i knew it and she's dancing around and doing like some kind of weird like uh, -huh. uh camera pans uh, we've got a bit of time to cover here so coming back to the group so the the reservoir dogs walk up to the the revolving door and you go through who's first rocket that's weird <laughs> so <laughs> so you uh you make your way through there is uh, a half moon desk. So as you walk in, there are a couple things that you noticed. Um, there's this sort of big freestanding facade wall. You can see behind it, right? So it's just like a, it's there to present the logo uh, of this, this place, uh, which is, Jason, please look at your file. Um, work something or other, work something, but oh yeah, work, work box commons. Right, and big, cool, blocky letters. And the, the wall is covered with plastic greenery. And it says in smaller print, a co-working facility. You smell so much espresso in here. As you walk in, it just hits you. And there are all these, so there's that center wall, which is probably say 20 feet, no, yeah, 15, 20 feet wide. Half moon desk, attendant behind it. And then just people sitting at random tables around. Lots of weird lights, light bulbs, like the strange old school light bulbs hanging down, different heights and whatnot, casting this really cool hipster vibe, although it's retro at this point. As you walk in, the attendant kind of glances at you and just uh, sort of does one of these. Give me a notice check, Rocket, as the first in the door. Damn, you're fast. Six. To super speed. You're like, Ping! here you go. Um, <laughs> so you glance in, and it's like you're looking at him. The, the one thing you notice is uncanny valley thing happens. Something's not right with that guy. No more detail than that. You just like, hmm. As he's like, you move in. You can hear music. It's like chill step. The shit that I was playing before. This like <laughs> kind of stuff. It sounds like someone's like hitting walnuts together for the snare drum. <laughs> what do you do? I'm gonna approach the desk. Everybody freaks out when they see me on the thing. Um, Nobody just glances at me. And gets, you know, like... Nope. So what happens is this guy, and that's okay. Represent. Uh, I'm gonna give everybody else a notice check. Actually, let me do it that way. 
because you're walking in. Da, 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 da. Blox is aware, but no more so than usual. Spectral Avenger is aware of everything. Oh, wait. Damn. Mordred. Mordred. Notice Mordred's the one. All right. <laughs> so the rest of you guys are walking, and you're, you're aware of generally everything that's going on. Not a lot is going to catch you by surprise. But, Mordred, you notice one thing that's really important. Everyone around glances and absolutely recognizes Rocket. For one, they're the type of people that watch the internet nonstop, Freedom Net, as it were. But the guy at the front desk is just there. Doing this to people, pointing at people, has doesn't give a shit about Rocket whatsoever, which is strange. You approach the front desk. Rocket, uh, you're the first to walk up. And uh, what's interesting is he does not even look at you. He's looking at the rest of your group. Are you here for a day pass? He says, looking past Rocket. Even though you're Rocket, you're the first to arrive. Yeah, but I'm down. <laughs> yeah, I'd like a day pass. Uh, what resources do you need? Just the internet? Huh? That'll do. So with your, with your incredible notice roll, I'm gonna give you a little more information. This dude's got a toupee. And it's super fucking crooked. (laughs) Like, awkwardly so. I don't have a toupee, or I would make mine crooked. And the stream would be like, oh, that's amazing. Um, I tried to get Midjourney to render a toupee this weird, but no. It's it's, uh, it's just, it's on wrong. So just a day pass with internet. Is that for your whole group? Do you need a private conference room, buddy? Sure, that'd be great. Okay going to be $450 today. <laughs> I don't imagine I have that. <laughs> so what do you say to him? You're there you're like, oh, he's got his hand out. And I, I wish you could see my he's just standing there awkwardly. They're just staring at you. He doesn't break the stare at all, even for like social awkwardness. He's just today. I'll see how long you'll hold it. Like, I'll just stare right back at him. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long time in, in uh, social parlance. It's a really long time. Blocks, how are you reacting to this? What are you back there? You, you, because you know what it is? It's long enough that Blocks, your attention span is done with this situation. What do you do? Uh, I uh, So it's like a half moon desk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I walk around the other side on his side. Okay. And this, is there like a like a bin of like passes or something sitting there? Ah, uh, so you're gonna try to sneak and and avoid his? No, notice? I'm just, just gonna just walk I'm just up. lazy okay. doing it. Okay. So, so you kind of because <laughs> because if he takes his eye off of so <laughs> Donovan, is this guy human? <laughs> <laughs> He's there like this, and you see him go. Excuse me, Missy, can I help you? Miners are not permitted behind the counter. This is the business. Yeah, I was wondering if you could just give me my badge. Please present your identification, and I'll scan it. I can absolutely <laughs> give you a replacement yeah. badge if you've lost yours for the small fee of twelve ninety nine. So I reach my hand into my pocket of my uh, of my burgundy leather jacket. And I slip my fingers through the brass knuckles that are in the side in the pocket. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> and as I pull them out, I just punch him right in the temple. <laughs> oh wow! We'll see if this toupee comes off. <laughs> okay. Oh, that. Okay, that's fun. Yeah, let's do that. So. Uh, you said you wanted to see identification. Yeah, g- <laughs> give me. <laughs> Okay, so so uh, in, in, in the intervening small amount of time that's happened there, um, remember that there were people noticing Rocket, and so there are a few people who have come up and are like, "Oh, Rocket, Rocket, whatever." Um, wh- how are you responding to this, Red? These people. Oh, uh, the, the typical, normal, very social with everybody. Like, hi, hi, hi. hi. Yeah. yeah, just like What's wagging a- your wagging your yeah, butt. Like- yeah selfies galore that kind of thing so yeah, like absolutely. In, yeah ab- cool so there's like groups set real quick there's like almost like this strange party going on mordred you and uh and and uh donovan are there sort of toward the front <laughs> you're kind of having this awkward thing he he steps over there's a quick exchange and she just fucking clocks him 
Give me your fighting role in the side of the head. Uh, with brass knuckles, you're going to give me some damage because that's not just... Are you trying to kill him? No. Okay, because brass knuckles to the temple will kill someone, says the internet. But okay. Uh, what's that? I don't understand. That I don't math. know. That's what it did when I hit roll damage. That, math, gave me. Uh, that math is even weird. Strength plus 1d4? Minus 2. Oh, He's okay. got a minus 2, so he rolled a 2 and... She. Okay. Minus, she, I'm sorry, she rolled a two. <laughs> yes, fine. Okay. The good. player is a he. Good, good for both <laughs> of us. Um, you, you, you deck him. There's this quick moment. I'm going to give you blocks a notice check because your adrenaline's pumping at negative <laughs> two. <laughs> I have to find my character sheet. Here we go. Why does it keep closing? Scroll back to the top. Okay, that okay. So, so what happens is the toupee, the oddly placed toupee, you're like <laughs> flaps up for a quick second. You see a glint of red, just a vague glint, a small one, not a great big, like it's not like the poltergeist coming from under his hat or his, his piece, but he, he does fall down. Hey, that's not right. Oh, I'm going to call the police. Violence is against the corporate policies for the <laughs> for the workbox commons. He's he's bleeding. He's holding his mouth. He seems he's start he's tearing. He goes over to the phone. I know he doesn't. <laughs> okay. he doesn't. Keep in mind, as you do this, this happens. The people that were hanging yeah. out with Rocket are suddenly like, whoa, what the? And phones are just like. Pr -pr 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 hey, guys, look at this. Give me a, I, I, give me I, I a to, persuasion. Get everyone's attention. Persuasion roll at negative two, please, to, to stop them from trying to. Uh, <laughs> that'll be a three. Like there's people filming it as well. Uh, because that's what people will do. They're not calling the law. They're just like, oh, let me get this on. Uh, while that gets you negative two, though, right? So, no. Okay. Reroll if you want. You want to spin a Benny? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to Persuasion. Oh, no. Didn't work out. Oh, that is Snake Eyes. That sucks. Snake Eyes, by the way, is a critical failure, which you cannot spend Benny's to reroll and amounts to something even worse. Um, tell me how it works out to be something worse. How does this compli how do, how do you complicate the situation? So I'm actually, I, like I call everyone's attention to the situation. So this, either, even those people who weren't paying attention now are. Well done. So yeah, including the sort of security guard dude at the front. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so, okay. Uh, I should have thrown this into rounds, I suppose. Gundy's still walking. G uh, okay, so Mordred and uh, Spectral Avenger, what are you doing? This is just goes straight south. What do you do? Just, uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you remember when you started chopping people up in the Target? <laughs> Yeah, yeah they were shooting it, people. This is what it felt like. <laughs> okay, no time to talk. What do you do? So you're there. There's this, uh, you're like, oh, and he, oh, and there's a fist fight going on now. Um, give me a notice check, Mordred, real quick, uh, just to see. It's going to be a negative two as well because the fast movement and the adrenaline. Uh, as soon as I recover my composure from that, I'm going to just go walk to the elevators. Okay. <laughs> So, no. So you don't notice the, the red. You just, uh, she just decks the dude and knocks him down. Uh, Since Donovan. nobody can see me, I'm just going to prop myself against the wall, fold my arms, and watch it unfold. <laughs> You're such a dick. That's <laughs> fine. I love it. Cool. Okay. So we'll come back around to, okay, so there's this flash of Gundy. He's just exited the alley, and he's walking along, mullet waving in the wind. He's the only one that's not implicated in the hijinks yet. And then the camera switches back to blocks and she does what? He's trying to go for the phone. So I have scavenger so I can pull out a piece of needed equipment or so forth. And so in my left pocket, I have a pair of handcuffs and I'm going to handcuff his hand that he's reaching for the phone to his office chair. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> okay. And he's got one of those sort of taller office chairs because it's a high thing, right? So you, yeah. but it's on wheels. I would like to point out because yeah. they all are. Uh, yep. So. Yep. Cool. That's good. You okay? Then, so you, uh, I'm, I'm gonna want a fighting roll though, to because he's in a hurry. Fighting check uh -huh. will will uh, will get you there. Okay. So uh, you clip it to, to the chair. Uh, to his wrist first, and then drag him and blam, on the chair. And he turns, and he's like, Miss, what are you even doing? And, he's and I'm going to put my foot on the chair and just kick it as hard as I can so it rolls real quick. Okay. So this is fucking weird. Let's do this. Uh, roll. So someone did, like, no, so hand tough him before he got up. That was what I was going for. Uh, oh, that's good. That's uh, yeah. good roll. Yeah, yeah. So he, you kick the the chair and he spins. And the trouble is, it's like a cheap office chair. So he just sort of spins with it, and it's knocking stuff over, like it knocks a plant over behind the desk. Red Rocket, his entourage of of, of followers, like there's an army of cell phones aiming at you right now, as you're just like f beating up this this like greeter at a at a, a we work basically. Um, <laughs> okay, so so uh, any other actions there? Blocks? Anything interesting? I'm gonna say that was your you get you got move. You can. I do. I want to rip the phone out. <laughs> just like I love this. Just look, look seriously. Picture this like attractive young leather wearing <laughs> crazy punk rock girl just like ripping the shit out of the back desk of a re we work. So uh, yeah, you, the um, you grab the phone, such as it, it's not her like time a, of the month, but it's her time of the year. It's a, yeah, it's like a VoIP phone, and you just kind of yank it out. The network cable <laughs> bloom, plum, pulls out of the back. What do you do with it? You, you've got it over your head like a trophy. Does he have like a? Is there like a little like fountain or like bubbling plant or some shit like that there? Um, so I'm going to say there's a sand garden. Yeah, I'll, I'll say there's a sand garden there. Yeah, with like some little rocks and little zen. Yeah. Uh, okay. the front. Yeah. I'll just bury the end of the cord into the sand. So, yeah, you just you, you, yeah, you <laughs> get just, in there. Or is there like a, yeah, push it in there. You're damaging company equipment right now, little lady. What's wrong with you? He says there's blood coming down from his face. <laughs> um, and his toupee is even more crooked now, which makes it really hard. The one thing that you notice is that his eyes, as, as all this is going on, most people would be like this and kind of, ah, oh, he's just staring right at you. Blocks the whole time. Uh, let's move back to Mordred real quick. We got one more round. Uh, well, no, I'm sorry, Rocket. I haven't asked you what you're doing. You're there controlling your crowd. What what, what do you do? Um. Well, obviously, crowd control isn't going well. Yeah, <laughs> not, not really. Uh, I'm kind of kind of abandoned the situation. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to kind of like make my way over to one of the uh, unused computers and okay. Uh, okay. start to look up anything to do with uh, <laughs> the aid software or whatever. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so you. Okay. Great. So uh, for those of you who just joined, uh, just rewind a little bit. Gate stuff. So you, <laughs> you zip over, you, you find, uh, a, a computer that is unlocked uh, because the person who was working on it has come to see what the hell's going on. So he just walked <laughs> over. He's got a he's got a half consumed latte there, and there's a, a bag of kale chips on the on the desk as well, and a little weird cactus uh, plant thing. Um, so yeah, you approach, and uh, it is logged in, so you don't have to deal with that. But what are you looking for? You just pop up, open a browser, and start browsing for AIDS computer what program <laughs> aids program uh anything to do with that software we were you sent us give me a hacking role you have hacking i do electronics or science i'll give you science at negative two not so much electronics unless you want to build a computer to use uh so science at minus two yeah okay a six yeah so um you start out with AIDS program. You're in the moment. You're just like, oh, my God. Oh, and you're using your robot. <laughs> AIDS. Yeah. It's just like AIDS program, and it's like benefit programs and pharmacy programs. <laughs> all this. And you're like, oh, oh, shit. That's okay. Fine. Um, you need to go a level deeper. Um, you wind up with that role um, actually quickly, your little dog eyes going back and forth, 
hacking into the intranet for the company that made those devices? What do you want to find out? Um, well, shit, I didn't think I'd get this far. Um, like me in the dumpster situation. <laughs> These are vastly different situations. <laughs> are they though? I think um, some might, might be safer. <laughs> uh, I want to look up more into the Neuralink. Okay, what and what do you stuff like that? So thinking yeah. about, I mean, speed reading as you may. Um, um, uh, give me a smarts roll. I'll give you information based on the level of success you got. Because I'm thinking about how this is unfolding and escalating into like a fucking, okay. Okay, so, so you find um, the, the base uh, clinician's guide to implementing that equipment. You, there's a disclaimer that essentially says, hey, you cannot use this without the accompanying deployment uh, robot, right? However, um, y y you, I, I will allow you to retrieve the manual for the, the device itself, the interface with the brain. You're not sure how much that's gonna get you, but it's like the implementation guide for that thing. That's what you mm -hmm. get before. So you moved, you did some stuff. Before we come back to Mike Gundy, Mike. You're walking up, cool as a cucumber, <laughs> happy to be back from the dumpsterville. You walk in, there's, there's like, you, you see hair fly and some stuff going on behind the desk because you can't see on the, on the other side of these people who are gathered in front of the desk, all of them with their phones. There's chaos. You know what it's like because you've just been sitting here hearing it. What do you do? Um, well, sh slowly back out of the room <laughs> do, do you... part of the part of part of me wants to go and just uh hang out at the dumpster until somebody comes out for a smoke break yeah uh <sighs> black girl is like how far away from the entrance um oh, she's Oh, geez, I'm going to say it's like a larger lobby there, so probably 30 feet, 30, 40 feet, something like that. A big, shiny floor, big plants and stuff, right? Greeting area for the whole building. That's what this is. Behind it is the WeWork facility where they have all these people sharing desks and stuff. Hmm. This won't work, but I think it'd be pretty funny. I'm just gonna, I'm just, I'm just going, I'm just, cause I, I don't think I know what her actual name is. No one does. <laughs> she so may, she go, may not have one. Aaron. Yeah. So I literally just go in like, uh, Allison, where have you been? And I like grab a hold of her and try to turn you, you, okay. you come marching up, you, you <laughs> shoulder your way through the crowd right because there again there's probably like 30 people gathered in front of this desk from the from the desk sharing place how do you go through them uh, as you approach do you try to intimidate them you try to just well i figure of most of them are probably like uh soy latte looking people so it probably wouldn't be too hard for him to just kind of punch his way through <laughs> yeah okay give me give me a per, give me a uh, persuasion roll you're taking uh, the persuasion like i'm just gonna go through this ain't gonna go well either no <laughs> <laughs> he Benny's? You're going to let it stand. Um, Yeah, I'll do a Benny. Is there an easier way to do it, or you just uh, click it and then subtract it? Uh, You just click re-roll. Okay. Stop moving. Oh, the bun Oh, yeah, yeah. There's. I, I see what you're talking about. Did you re-roll? No. I'm, hold on here. I'm going to hit the re-roll button so I can figure that out real quick. Why is that not? Why is that slow? Oh, I can't. yeah. All right. No. So inverted. <laughs> yeah. So you, yeah, yeah, exactly. So you're coming up and you're just like, Allison, whatever talking. And this dude literally turns and steps right out in front of you. And he's like, what's your problem, man? Is that your fucking kid? I'm trying to get some code written around here, man. He's pretty good size, but you could take him if you had to. Bitch, 
gonna punch. come up in here. I pay two hundred dollars a month for this shit. Uh, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> so and it and it and it's like. It's it's it might it's not like super gross where it's like uh, a lot of mucus and stuff, but he is going to be in the hospital next week. <laughs> OK, OK. So you yeah, you you launch one of those, right? So you uh, is there a role associated with that or is that just one of your powers, right? Uh, it's just my uh, I guess what do you want to call it? Biomancy. Yeah, <laughs> what, what, what is call it? Yeah, what's Bio his? Yeah, it's one of my uh, biological what? control. Uh, how how does he resist? Can he resist? I try is it a spirit roll or something or a vitality roll or something not vitality what the hell is I'm saying that's my animal ones yeah I got Diablo in the brain James man <laughs> control biology um I don't think it works like that actually let's see here So you sneeze I'm gonna come back to yeah it's just gonna it's just it's just nasty bacterial stuff so, Let's see. I mean, if, if he aces, no, never mind. So, if you could hear him in a couple weeks, what the fuck are you doing? I was trying to get some code written and I'm immune compromised. Literally, as you... soon as his mouth opens, <laughs> as soon as his mouth opens is when I sneeze. Oh, <laughs> he's, he's like, I'm trying to get some. <laughs> <laughs> the loogie <laughs> just leaps out of Gundy's oh. mouth in this. And the thing is, is that I, I still have chewing tobacco in my mouth too. Oh. So. Oh, just a so nightmare. Little flex, little flex of brown on his face. Yeah, he, yeah. he grabs his phone. He's like, oh, fuck. He grabs his phone. I'm going live. Oh. And he just, he, he hits the, he's going to do that. Um, okay, but you say that blocks. You hear Gundy calling out your name. Well, a name. <laughs> uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume you get that. Um, we'll come back to you. What do you do? <laughs> So, uh, do any of the people like turn to see what Gundy's doing? There are a couple, yes. I would say there are a few heads that turn, but it's one of these things. I don't have my phone out here, but it's one of those things where it's like this, and then it's like. So, yeah. Attention shifts a little bit, but not to the point where you can do much without being, yeah. Got yeah. it. Not a problem. <laughs> what do you do? Well, what do I do? I think. <laughs> I don't know what you do. Uh, so let's see here. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is basically when they turn the other direction, I am going to take that opportunity to turn into a bunch of Playgo ants and just drop onto the floor into a little ant. Okay. And they kind of like crawl underneath the desk. So there's a there's some rules around shape change and size change where mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to assume that they're not little ants but they're kind of like they're Lego brick sized ants something like that like well know, I mean I can like change that. into it's the actual size of the creature yeah I just I think we have to balance that to some degree Byron because that's a okay. lot of creatures like I turned into a you know a whatever the hell yeah well that's what the that's that's what yeah. the swarm so thing is for. so ant yes but not not ant but like like good size ant it's a whole yeah. bunch of little weird okay, boom, boom, boom. okay. Yeah. you're not a red so, ant you're a bullet ant <laughs> yes yeah <laughs> not not the ones we had in brandon so i'm gonna say 1d 100 how many of the people watching notice this half of the people see you fall apart now <laughs> uh, and a desk clerk <laughs> yeah so the no desk yeah the desk clerk is uh flailing around uh, he's got the chair attached to him. He's flinging it in different ways, and she's just like <laughs> different directions. Uh, panic does ensue, as you might think. Oh, uh, the second I see that, ants start coming out of that asshole's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, Lego ants? <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. So regular ones. He's he's already there, just like oh my god, I'm going live, and and he goes live. Gundy, he does. He's like, hey, this is Brantley. You wouldn't fucking believe what's happening. At... And this ants is live on uh, Bookface. What is, Mordred, you're right. All this is going on around you. What are you doing? 
I was going back to the elevators just to try to see if one would just open or if there was some impediment to that. Uh, there is. In fact, there is a boop needed. <laughs> Donovan, can you open that from the inside? Any of the elevators here? Do you <laughs> shout? Wait, wait. Meta, meta warning. Do you shout this from way the fuck yeah, across? Yeah, I okay. just. Hey! <laughs> okay, so you do. <laughs> Donovan, you don't know where he is because he's invisible. He's leaning up against what? Right there by the. By the oh. desk, yeah. Yeah. I just assumed out, he out was the there, so I the... just yell out to him to. Out of the way of the commotion. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, out of the way of the commotion, you hear him shout. Give me a notice check. Let's see if you understand 100% what he said. And I'll tell you what you heard if you fail. <laughs> want to spend a betting just... or no? On fire tonight. No, you don't want to? Okay. <laughs> Um, no, I'm not even going to tell I, you. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit engrossed in what's happening right uh, in front of me. It, it's been quiet for Rocket. I'm going to ask Tyler, what does to, uh, talk? I always say talk. I'm sorry. What does a Spectral Avenger hear Mordred say to him? And, and what is he convinced of that, that uh, he's asked him? <laughs> he said, look, Aunt Q, uh, what, what exactly did you say? Yeah, re repeat what you said. Can you open these from the inside, right, is what you said? It's like Donovan over here. Can you open these from the inside? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Fastest finger. Who's got a good one? <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing. Wait, what did you say, Garrett? You're muted. Donovan's tickling my insides. <laughs> yeah. Okay, fine. So he, he, he Donovan tickle my insides. You hear yeah, Donovan. A, tickle my insides. Never fear, tickle my insides. <laughs> that's what you hear. Uh with that fail notice check and you didn't spend a penny. So so we'll move on. Uh so you say that and you're looking around and he's invisible. You don't know what he's doing. Yeah. But you okay, so that's a free action. What do you what do you do? Do you do anything interesting? Uh, I was I don't know where he is, so I just I'm waiting there to, for him to show up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. just, and, like repeat donovan just yell that out okay it's donovan Don okay so he says donovan never fear tickle my insides donovan donovan <laughs> okay uh let me think about this for a second rocket you're uh you're you've, you've got what data you got uh in this period of time you're sitting at this computer kind of up on this like it's a standing desk so you're like had to hoist yourself up on the <laughs> what are you doing what are you doing uh, I'm going to see if I can look for uh, like a floor breakdown, like the different floors in this building. Of this building. Yes. Uh, yeah, just give me a smart like check. A, like a welcome center. Like, uh, yep, give me a smart check. Should That's be not the right button. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, so cool thing. You you notice big, a couple big things. Big dog brain. Yeah, so, so uh, wow. So you find the intranet um, and you find the, the tenant listing, um, the floor layout, it, it, well, you find that as well. Although the fifth floor is listed as um, pending for whatever reason. Um, so a quick summary, first floor, work box commons, a co-working facility, second floor, peak equity and sterling solutions. Uh, wealth management third floor beacon response solutions which seems to be from what you can tell some kind of like call center uh, tech support thing beacon marketing which is a call center sales thing uh, fourth floor apex analytics bright bite software company of some kind buzzwave media fifth floor had been listed as proxima mega host data center um, yeah so you find that there's no layout of the data center though Nothing like that. Um, and there's not exactly like, hey, here's what every office looks like, but it, it gives yeah. like a general sense. Um, but with that raise, I'll let you ask me one tough question. I'll answer it as long as it's not silly. Like what would they know that, that uh, you want to know? The last time the fifth floor was accessed. Well done. So the tenant, so you're you're dorking around and you're like, this is not secure at all. Like uh, you do a little SQL injection and, and manage to log in um, to the content management site, which is just what's seen here. And so the, the tenant left the fifth floor 
about six months ago when uh, Proxima Mega Host went under. Um, the one thing that you, it's, it's a, a note that you find in, in like their sort of internal chat around the features. It's like, hey, Marjorie, can you tell me more about this building? It's reinforced <coughs> to be able to withstand like natural disaster level stress to the building. Uh, it has no external facing, actual external facing windows. There are extremely uh, secure entrance and, and, and so on. Uh, advanced fire suppression systems and a variety of other things. So it's very appealing for data companies. And then there's this response like, who does that anymore? Isn't everything in the cloud? The Freedom Cloud, of course, that kind of thing. So it was a, the whole uh, fifth floor was a big data hosting place at one point. Sounds like we need to get to the fifth floor. And meanwhile, your dog hearing, you're just like, oh, fuck. What? What? Tickle me. What? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, what do you do? So that's you, you glean this. Uh, what, what do you do with this information? Um, Going to keep hacking. So, yeah, I'll just keep digging for any information I can regarding. Uh, so, is Tyler question? This is like a, So we're looking for equipment that was like Filecorp related. No. So, Filecorp. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. So, um, Vilecorp is Ignatius Vile's shell company. Yeah, yeah. Um, it seems that a bunch of n neurological implant equipment were, were stolen, w was stolen, I should say, from a handful of places. And they've kind of linked that back to the stuff that they, some of the, the equipment that was found in the behemoth before mm -hmm. they saved him, some of the uplink equipment, not the crystals, but the, the gadgets that, they plugged the crystals into uh, some of that linked back to this uh, um, medical equipment. So all those things kind of tied back to uh, the research facility, some stolen stuff, uh, which apparently was transported here somewhere. Make sense. So, uh, so there was a thing. Yeah. So it's been a while. So there was a security footage of the behemoth and the crimson clone um, breaking into that facility. And there was a big mm -hmm. theft of medical equipment, um, some kind of brain machine interface stuff. Uh, they've traced that equipment here. Got it. Right. Cool. Uh, I would try to look at the delivery logs to see when stuff was last delivered here based off of the date it was stolen. Ooh, good. Interesting question. So there is in fact a, a request there. So, so what you find is actually building security logs, not so much delivery logs, because that's uh, discreet to the businesses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what you find is a request that came into the landlord to basically have security shut the building down for a period of uh, six hours. Um, just recently here, I, don't, I forget what I said when the boxes arrived, but it, it correlates with the dumpster ladies uh, timeline. Um, it was, uh, there was some chatter around it. Like, what is this? What's going on here? What are they delivering? Some sort of sensitive IT equipment. It's, it's a chat log where you're reading the thread. Um, and it, ultimately it was approved. And so they did in fact make sure all the tenants were gone and uh, they actually hired off duty police officers to set up a perimeter when the trucks came in to deliver the equipment. And, okay, uh, and I'm gonna go Go ahead. No, I was just going to say it was um, uh, F F L E Corp was was the originator of the request. Uh, I'm going to go pull the fire alarm. <laughs> okay, fine. Let's hang on one second. Let's come back. So you're hacky, hacky, hacky. Um, he doesn't even notice like the arm come around at an awkward angle with the selfie behind him of some random person. <laughs> Um, your reputation is going to go up one, by the way. Um, so that will max out my reputation to three. Okay, there you go. Let you know what happens next time. Come back to... All right, so we've got ants. What are you... Okay, so ants. Ant lady. What's happening? You fall apart and you... Where do you I go? just kind of try to go underneath the desk. Okay. And like back out the other side, like past all the people and stuff. Okay. Towards um, Gundy. Somebody give me a D4 notice check to represent the general populace, uh, negative one, just for good measure. 
Let's see if anybody notices the crazy Lego ants heading out. Okay, yeah, no. No one knows. Everybody's preoccupied. You completely go. Where do you go, Blocks? All the way out the... I'm going out the front. Okay. So you, you kind of go out between the revolving door and all this sort of stuff. Gundy, uh, what, are you up to, what are you up to? So you answer, come out of this guy's mouth. He's choking. And people now are suddenly like all of them. They're just like, uh, it's like this weird frenzy of... of of, of reels being filmed <laughs> as this dude's just like barfing out ants and people are like oh and one guy's doing the selfie look at this dude barfing out ants all over the floor what do you do what I was going to do the first time and walk out okay <laughs> Okay. It's like a, it's like that that you know those badasses that walk away from explosions and that's behind them except that there's no explosion behind me that is how I'm walking out. Yeah, I picture this moment then, where you where you go to you, you go to turn and you almost step on some of the ants that you created and you're like, "Oh, no." Nope. Oh, no, they they move you, away for me. And then you walk away. <laughs> yeah. And then once I get outside the building, they just kind of disappear. Oh, that's that's emotionally terrible. <laughs> okay, <Fine. laughs> all right, all right. Let's have another D, uh, James. Since you're the the populous roller, let's do a spirit roll. I'm going to give them a, a D4 with no penalty. As both me and the ants are gone. Yes. Oh exactly. my god. And there's still this dude. <laughs> okay, cool. Critical failure for the uh, <laughs> for the masses. All right, um, uh, Mordred. Oh, well, let me come back to Donovan. So, Donovan, you're there. Um, I'm going to assume you kind of figure it out after about the third Donovan. He probably... I would at least go looking for him because yeah. what he said doesn't make any sense, but I know he's trying to get my attention. Yeah, so so um, I, I think Mordred feels a slight change in the, in the temperature around him, and there's like one of these fake plants that sort of bristle, like kind of rustles a little bit, and it, you're like, ah, oh, he's near. Okay. Uh, what are you guys uh, talking You're about? You're looking for me? Yeah, can you... Any of these elevators on this floor that you can open up from the other side? I poke my head into one of the elevators, see if there's a car there. Nope. Uh, the is one there, that you look at, no. If there's more than one, I keep looking. Okay, second one. Uh, there is. Yeah, it's there. And now what's no funny problem. is, remember, the... Yep. The, the ectoplasm there's some slimes. ooze. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> House cleaning will uh, will enjoy that. This is not what I imagined when I was sitting at Starbucks thinking this through today, but I love it so much. <laughs> okay, so you you peek, you peek your head in. Um, do you go? I I go into the car. Okay, and, enjoying and your soy latte. Going to make myself <laughs> tangible and try to push the button for the first floor, see if it opens, or the you door. You have to roll for the door. tangibility or some shit. I do, but it doesn't really impact much if I fail when there's nobody around. No, but. The cinematics of it will be amazing if you fail. So, isn't that where you yeah. turn into the horrible, gnarly creature that looks like the yes. leopard? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, what do I have to roll for that? I don't know, man. Oh, spirit roll. Some dice. Oh yeah, it's usually with you. It's it's most of the time going to be here. Oh, all right. Well, you succeed. So, so you 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 struggle, and like your finger at first is like this horrible corpse-like thing, and then it starts to become more corporeal or whatever. So you you push the button for what floor? Well, we're on the first floor, so I tried the first floor, tried the open button. You know, what whatever button might open it. Hang on. If nothing else works, I'll press the second floor and then go back down to the first floor says enter security code and there's a little light that starts to ring this like reader thing or no, i'm sorry it says uh, enter security credential is what it says no, that's not gonna work enter security credential it says uh, i will uh make myself intangible again and walk back through the door okay so snot goes in, snot <laughs> comes out, and, and it pushes the snot that was already on the door off the door into a big... And oh, the, the, the camera sees it piling up near your boots. It requires an access code or token of some kind. Oh, for fuck's sake. Let's go find blocks. <laughs> so as you turn... She the, disappeared. Uh... uh <laughs> So, so the attendant at this point has 
he's got a couple people that have come around behind him who have ripped the uh the well sort of pulled the the adjustable uh arm of the chair off so he now has the arm of the chair in the in the handcuffs and he's very i don't know why she did that she just came in and attacked me i was only trying to sell a day pass and they're it's okay it's okay there's a few people trying to calm him down <laughs> Give me a notice check, uh, those of you who are still in the building, other than Rocket, who's just about coming back. Like, Rocket will arrive after this thing is said. So it'll be the three of you. Five and a four. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so Spectral Avenger notices this solely. Obviously, you see everything I just described, but Spectral Avenger, you notice there's a an awkward level of familiarity um, with these these people and this this guy at the front desk. You don't know why, but it's as if they're humoring him to some degree, like um, kind of like you might humor the weird kid in school. I was the weird kid in school. People humor me, that kind of thing. <laughs> it's like that, um, where they're just like, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. She's gone. She was a vagrant. Yeah, man, it's fine. Let me get you a latte. What fucking ants? Oh, <laughs> ants. Yo, I saw the ants. I got it on video. Look at this shit, man. Look at it. Yo, my hair looks good. That kind of shit. <laughs> um, anyway, so there's all that going on. You're coming back into it. Just kind of aside to Mordred, not very loud. Uh, yeah. there, there's something not right here. Yeah. <laughs> ants? What the hell happened? <laughs> and as you say that, Rock is like... Tick, 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 tick. <laughs> Rock hey, we should check out the fifth floor. Uh, they cleared out the building uh, like a, a you, few okay. hours, like a day. Let me or just so. you're saying this in front of a crowd of people. There's no privacy. Oh, okay. So you just, well, never mind. I just want to warn you because like yeah, 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 they're all right there. You're still on. Yeah, <laughs> you're just rocking up into this scene like, hey guys, we should... and everyone's like, huh? You start to say it, and you're like, what should? Oh, hi everyone, and they're like, hey, Red Rocket, listen. Hope they're all trying to. They're like, save the day. Don't don't you know how to fix this kind of stuff? Like, uh, and they're all just telling you different versions of what just happened. <laughs> like, help us, help us, help us. See, look, he's got the chair, and he's like, yes, Red Rocket, I have the chair attached to my hand, kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tyler, me too. <laughs> We're going there together. <laughs> Oh, goodness. It's like throwing a hand grenade into a maternity ward. It's that bad. <laughs> it's, gonna, it's fine. Um, are you thinking? What, what's, what's happening there? Um, I'll help him out, you know? Okay. <laughs> so tell me, uh, you can make a persuasion roll. It's going to be kind of hard. It's going to be negative two. You can defuse the situation, but I'm going to need a Tyler explanation of how... You make them okay with what just happened. Mine is the front desk guy. He's incorrigible right now. Just not happening. So give me that roll. <laughs> okay. I made it. Yeah, you did. Okay. So you you nailed it. Um, so you've got an oration. You're like, listen, everyone. Whatever. Yeah, every every relax here, here, here. We'll help. We'll help them out. We'll help them out. We'll Everybody's find like. <gasps> <laughs> I'll pull out like a little like handcuff key. Uh, like a little zipper pouch I have. Okay. <laughs> like unzip a little pouch and pull out a handcuff key. Like, help I'm doing. So, so I think as you're as you're telling them how everything's going to be okay, your robot arm is mindlessly unlocking the guy's handcuff, <laughs> yeah. and the and the uh, the the chair arm falls to the ground, and he's there messing with his wrist as you would. Um, but what about what about all that just happened? What about the what about the ants? What about that girl? I knew who that girl was, and a couple. Of, and there's this there's this younger guy, kind of curly hair, smart dresser. I saw her video. My friend posted it. She threw his cell phone like away, man. <laughs> she like took his cell phone and threw it for no reason. I that Hashtag rude, and everybody's like, <laughs> "Oh, blocks girl, blocks again." Isn't she your friend? And all eyes are on you. <laughs> she's having a rough day uh, uh, she's having a she's she's having a rough time uh 
<laughs> You're like, oh shit. Uh, <laughs> she lost her parents. Okay, one more persuasion roll. I'm gonna give you no penalty. That's pretty funny. I'm spending Benny. All right, okay. Come on. <laughs> you're like, come on, dice, come on. please. I'm like, yes! okay. so you're yes! like, oh, so, so like there's this moment as, okay, Mordred and the ghost are walking up together and people are just like, oh, dude, oh man, dude, oh, probably like, okay. Uh, Block's girl loses parents, like that kind of stuff. Like, just <laughs> you, you, you somehow manage to defuse the situation, and you hear, <clears throat> "Wait, what? I'm sorry to hear she lost her parents. No one should have to go through the loss of a loved one. I'll give her a free day pass <laughs> if she if she buys us a new phone. She seems to have damaged the front desk." Uncanny Valley thing is happening again, by the way. It's real bad. We'll, we'll, we'll put a check in the mail for you. Well, I mean, fine. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds I, reasonable. I, a, I can't write one. I'm a dog. I'm going to need a credit card for the deposit. Just understanding that you're likely to cause damages. And if you need a private conference room... I'm gonna I have just, to charge I, an extra 10% for cleaning fees. I just puppy dog eyes Mordred, like... <laughs> so you guys walk up and you're just like, how the hell did he just defuse this? Like, really? They're starting to disperse. It's the cute factor. Yeah. That's what I chalk it up to. What do you guys do? So you're back together. Uh, Gundy... I, I, I'm not in the room, but does any of us have money? Uh, so that's a great question. No. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, yo, no, no, no. I'm gonna say Gundy. I'm gonna say you do. I'm gonna let you roll. Uh, I think I think Gundy's a good, like, a practical guy. I'm gonna th I'm gonna let you roll. It'll give me a one d ten roll. Let's do that times one hundred. Because Gundy's the, right, he's the world's ending, I don't trust the bank, so you've got 500 bucks. Simoleons, cash. Wait, that's not you, sorry. And gold oh. bullion or something? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I don't know, he could tell me. Uh, slash roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you have... <laughs> so you, where's my Benny at again? <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. No, you got 100 bucks. <laughs> you've got right. 100 bucks to your name, you do. Sweet. Cash. And a whole bunch of shit you could sell. Like, you, you pawn stuff all the time. Oh, you should see the, the trailer. It's... Yeah. <laughs> um, it's all of you probably have some level of cash. Um, and and it's it's one of those things where... It was $450 for the... Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, Maybe so, we don't need the private conference right So now. So let's do this just for the sake of ease. So there is a... I'll call it a 30% chance at any given time that your funds will be available such that we don't have to talk about what money you have. So you roll a D100, you roll under 30, purchase goes through. You roll over 30, network error, uh, insufficient funds, you name it. Uh, big representing the tumultuous shit that's going on with the AI and the cybersecurity people. Does that seem fair? Mm -hmm. Okay, but my, my Gundy does have 100 simoleons on him right now in, in, in fives and, and tens I think it's ones, ones. I think it's his stripper yeah. money <laughs> <laughs> there's still some glitter and, and lotion body lotion at him. <laughs> sorry stream it's that kind of Sunday uh, alright so um, well we're in the lobby we're getting close to time um, camera pans I think Gundy you, uh, you step out you're down there by the concrete benches traffic's kind of cruising by you know, evening, uh, early, early, early evening, maybe. Or afternoon, I mean. Blocks, answer. What, what have you done? Where do you go? Uh, well, I went outside with Gundy, so I don't know exactly. Mm. I probably, once once I get out there, I would probably convert back to So how, do, okay, yeah, that's fair, because he comes in after you. So how does he find you? Um, I, I think you're probably down from the building. Like, you're there, are you... Chilling yeah. out, vaping. What are you doing? You having some? Yeah, I'm just having some caramel, uh, caramel frappuccino. 
<laughs> you that's how you find her you're like oh yeah she's like down by the oh, can, yeah down Smell by the noodle the, place a mile away nice cover with the ass I, I, I just do the hand thing or you no <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> uh. <laughs> Wow. Bad black film. No. <laughs> this is, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, because of schedules and stuff, this is where we're going to end the stream. Um, <laughs> we're going to end this on no hand slap, bad blocks girl, no. Uh, thanks for, for hanging out. We're going to do this again in a couple weeks. Um, we've got some travel coming up, so it's going to get complicated. Uh, I, I guess I should give Mordred, uh, Spectral Avenger, and... Uh, uh, Red Rocket one opportunity to say what they're gonna do here because shit's gonna get weird on the other side of this. Uh, <laughs> gonna, I think we're gonna regather the whole team. Yeah, and we're gonna get a day pass and go to four or five. Okay, so the 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 thing I will give you is um, so you're out there. I think Gundy's having this conversation. You're talking to the guy, the awkward dude with the weird toupee, who I swear to God I will get a picture of so we can all laugh at it together. I see him <laughs> in my head. He's like, day passes are only for the workspace. Access to floor five is limited to employees of the FLE Corp. It's our new tenant. I can't do that for much longer, but he does. <laughs> um, so there is no day pass that gets you up there. Workspace Collective is it's a, a multiple occupancy building, right? So you've got the, the people down here that rent space to work. And fifth floor is who knows. So we can get into this next time, but I was able to access the FLP or whatever. Yes. Right? Yeah, you well, uh, I would. I yes. By way of, well, no. So you, you access the manufacturer of the stolen okay. equipment who is not the people you're mad at. Right, you you access the manufacturer's website and got the the details on the on the device. So you understand. Well, I don't know if you understand. Maybe you need to research it. You, un you there the you have the specs for implementing the brain interface. So you have that, and then you were able to access the landlord's records as to the tenancy. You don't have any idea who F uh, F uh, L E Corp is. You no. need to to figure that out separately. I well, think we ought to look for a staircase. See if we can go up without yeah, the we'll, elevators. We'll take the day pass for the workspace. Yeah. And then we'll find our way up from there. Yeah, so what I love okay. about this, like seriously, this is this is where the stream ends. Picture this, guys. This chaos that you've just witnessed here on YouTube or Twitch if you watch it, ends because Red Rocket talks them all out of it being a real problem. <laughs> and then all of them come back with a day pass. <laughs> to the shared workspace of cubicles and conference rooms. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave you with that. Until next time, uh, you guys. We, <laughs> we're Myth Brigade. We are Myth Brigade. <laughs> <laughs>